Scott Blumstein has done it. With a deuce on the river, Blumstein has secured the win in the 2017 WSOP main event, defeating a 7,221 player field to win the championship bracelet and the first place prize of $8,150,000. Card Player TV caught up with Blumstein minutes after the final card was dealt to learn how it feels to be poker's newest world champion. I'm still in shock. Uh I thought I would actually get a little bit even more emotional than I got in real time, but just uh, just the best feeling. I, I can't even put it into words. That deuce hit on the river. You 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 just go berserk. All the friends here on the rail. Like walk us through that moment. I mean, is there a better way to win the main event than hitting a three outer on the river? A, a normally inconsequential deuce just changes my life and. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I wish I could say that I was uh, thinking it was coming the whole time, but I was mentally preparing for 40 big blind poker and somehow the river was a deuce and the rest is history. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled. I think the second biggest reaction we saw you have all night was when you put that three barrel bluff through early. Uh, what, what were you feeling in that and was that really a big moment for you to feel like uh, give you well, some momentum? Well, before today started, uh, Doug Pohl came up to me and was ribbing me saying that he, he wasn't seeing much bluffing going on so uh, I had to put that to be bed pretty fast and uh, you know I told him be careful what you wish for because uh, he might have cost his buddy the pot but uh, no I you know I had a king of clubs pretty good card to bluff with and um, you know when you get to the river with king high and there's all that all those chips in the middle and the way uh, Ben was kind of short so I went for it and uh, got the fold so was very happy with that result in that hand, and um, yeah, I think I would play it the same way next time as well. So there are a few other hands like that, and three-handed, and certainly you dominated heads up. I mean, you were really praised for how you played tonight. Did you feel like you played the best tonight out of the three nights in the final table? Or were you just going really? Into I'm really happy with how I played tonight. Um, you know, with only 24 hours of turnaround time for preparation, it wasn't easy, but. Um, I'm lucky enough to have good resources, and I hit up a buddy of mine who's a really good three-handed heads-up, uh, you know, poker player, and he kind of just gave me the ropes, and we went over what I should do, and uh, you know, I was coming out and just hoping to execute it, and I, uh, I think tonight went really well. So, um, really happy with the result, really happy with the deuce because uh, I was playing good, but I'm pretty tired of poker at this point, honestly, and. Uh, to have to go back and battle uh, pretty deep again, I, I wasn't looking forward to it. So uh, it's a dream come true. That river was the best card you could ask for and uh, just ready to go celebrate with the people that came and supported me. Scott, you had to leave pretty much the entire final table. In terms of just having that chip advantage, what did it do for you, I guess, for the last few days? How were you able to take advantage of it? Yeah, so. I feel pretty fortunate throughout the whole tournament to have a, a big stack, uh, but that's what the main event allows you to do. I mean, can't even I, I couldn't even imagine the amount of time I spent over 100 big blinds in this tournament. It might it might have been sort of honestly 80 to 90 percent of it, uh, as crazy as it sounds. And uh, you know, especially at the final table after that tens hand, when we were ten handed, uh, that really put me in a good spot to try to win it. And I knew, uh, you know, when I made that call, I. I made that you know I could have folded and kind of came in the day with whatever and tried to ladder and but uh, you know I, I, I made that call knowing that I wanted to win in mind and um, I definitely think having a big stack it allows you to put pressure on and, and, and uh, increases your chances of winning for sure. Uh, all things considered uh, is there a small part of you that wishes the tournament had ended on that three-way all-in? <laughs> a big part a big part honestly uh, Jack was saying this is day 15 of this tournament, which, you know, obviously I didn't play, I played day 1C, so discredit the first two, in it, but it feels like an eternity, and um, you'll take that spot to try to win this tournament. I had the queen blocked, and all I had to pay was a king nine, or a queen, uh, king nine or ten, and the flop was pretty unkind uh, in general, left me with three outs, uh, four outs, and uh, three outs because he blocked one, and, um, that was a little frustrating, but um, you know, I just knew that uh, my heads-up game was was gonna be good enough, and uh, really happy to close it out eventually.
Scott, you're the first main event winner in more than a decade to not play in November. What do you think about changing to playing it out only after two days off this year? Uh, I think I like it. I, I do like the fact that uh, the, the quick turnaround. Um, for starters, I feel like I was relatively prepared uh, in general just to play it. So. Uh, obviously, it's a huge advantage if you feel that way as opposed to someone who's coming in and might not uh, be as prepared right away. Because in the three months period, you can learn a lot about this game. So um, I like it. I wish it was a little bit longer. I think three or four days is probably ideal just to have a day of R&R &R and then the rest is just poker. Um, but. Uh, I'm pretty happy that I was just able to come in and keep the momentum going and uh, finish it off within the next week. So I, I do like it. With $8 million coming your way, can we expect to see you at some high roller bowl? You know what, honestly, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, probably not, uh, to be honest. We'll see. That could change. But I'm not, I, I, I don't have an ego in this game. I don't, I'm going to chuck my ego at the door. I know where I stand. I know two weeks ago I was just a New Jersey online grinder and uh, nothing's really changed. So um, having the money, I mean, you know, am I going to play a little bit more live poker? Probably, but I'm probably going to choose where I go based on just, uh, you know, more location and, and, and uh, just what, you know, what, what works for me as opposed to the buying of the tournament. So, um, you know, so to answer your question, we'll see, um, but you never know. Congratulations to Scott Blumstein, champion of the 2017 World Series of Poker main event.